welcome birthday people let's see what's happening for you birthday peoples <laughs> birthday people people who were born between five July and 11 July all right birthday people let's see let's pop in what is going to be happening for you guys so there's a whole lot that is happening I should say okay mm -hmm. mm. cancers it's as if some of you are going through a whole lot Okay. A whole lot. <clears throat> a whole lot of you are creating um or um channeling and clearing up a whole lot in your life, whatever is happening and transpiring. A whole lot of you are really um going through a whole lot of shift, relationship, or work, or problems or that all of people create. So, you know, a lot of you or having these uh, problems, these issues. Um, and it's as if this year is a year where um, you have to find a balance within your world. So, again, sirs, I mean, I love you guys. It's my opposite sign. But you can see that a whole lot of you cancers are dealing with a whole lot of um problems and issues so there is no um question about that and it's affecting a whole of you a whole lot of you um in the way that uh, it's as if some of you are giving up uh hope okay all right so let's see what is going to be the extra energies uh, with the majors Okay. Mm -hmm. Ta -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Oh, happy uh, 4th of July. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That's why my reading is late. I got 4th of July. I got European football. <laughs> it's a busy month. June, July is always busy. Okay. All right. Hmm. Divine love and light. Okay. Cancers. Let's see what's coming out. So the people who were born on the 5th justice. The people who were born on the 5th of July, you're um, dealing with some sort of issues where I see justice is coming up. So this is uh, the energy of balance. Balance is coming back in your world. So let's say that a lot of you have been going through um, issues and problems. They're coming up against a young Aries Lee or a fire sign person. Your worries is going to be over. So for the people who were born on the 5th of July, an Aries the or fire sign person had created some sort of a chaos. They're coming up on this person. So maybe it's a child, maybe it's a younger person, maybe it's your partner that created a whole lot of problems and issues for you. They're now recognizing what this person have done. Um, justice is coming up on this person. A lot of you, the worries is going to be over and a lot of you are going to be moving forward. Um, people are now recognizing the unfair game um, that this person had uh, created. And now people are recognizing who this person is uh, and how this person had created a whole lot of problems. So um, a lot of you, I don't know if this is your partner, whoever this, this um, person is, uh, I see that this person has been creating a whole lot of chaos. So, and people are going to be now recognizing who this person is and what this person have done. It's as if the universe is uh, shutting down a situation where a lot of you, this could have been your wife or husband, 
okay and a divorce could be coming up in this year so if you have a wife or a husband i see that some sort of an ending with some sort of a contract marriage agreement is definitely going to be happening for the people who were born on the 5th of july so problems um with these fire sign people i see um the law is going to be coming down on a fire sign person i don't know what they have done what has transpired but i see the law is coming down on this person so we have justice and so when justice comes in um this justice is uh, 11 you have 11 and uh, 9 and whatever the worries was it is going to be over because it's as if you were worried because um an Aries Leo fire sign person had created some sort of an issue and problem you were worried i see justice come in for the people who were born on the 6th of july congratulations um i see a really positive year the energy of the magician this is really really um positive whatever that was happening in your world is going to be balanced out and i see the five of swords you're overcoming a situation which is very very um positive and i see the page of cups so a lot of you are going to be having relationship issues it's as if uh, the energy of the magician uh is uh, the energy of uh, the mercury gemini communication um uh communication with your child communication with your child's father or your child's mother or father um but whatever the communication is in this year you have a clear communication that is going to be coming in um for you and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous okay so um Whoever was creating issues and problems, whatever you are going through, this year is going to be a year that your thoughts is going to be very, very cleared and people are going to be overcoming whatever that was going on. Yes, um, for the people who were born um, the 7th of July, you have victory and success. So this is good it's about moving forward a lot of you are going to be moving relocating buying new cars so this is going to be good for you it's going to be a very very positive year where you are really overcoming a lot of um um blockages that was in your life uh, you're really overcoming this and you are moving forward this year is going to be a year where you're moving forward yes and and speed moving forward with speed so whoever was born the 7th of july you're going to be moving forward with speed now okay and you are going to be creating your own new start okay it's as if some people were trying to block you and uh, you're going to be overcoming this and you're going to be moving forward speeding showing people that you know no matter what you create in my way I am going to be able to overcome these obstacles in um, this year. So it is a very positive year um, for the people who were born on the 7th. You're going to be moving very fast. Uh, 7, 8 of 1s and ace of 1s. And the, 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 the most important thing is that you're going to be creating your new stability, your new start. No one is going to be standing in your way because you're going to be um you know overcoming all, all of the obstacles all of the things that people created is as if you're breaking away and breaking out of this so this is going to be a powerful powerful year so um seven and eight is like passion you are finding your passion in this new year then we're looking at the people who were born on the 8th of uh, july you have the energy of the sun, another wonderful energy. So people, you know, a lot of you are getting these wonderful, powerful energies. And remember that each of uh, this um, line is like a month. And this is why I said a lot of people ask for your uh, year readings, your birthday readings. You know, it, give yourself a gift and give yourself a birthday readings. And ask a lot of people who have communicated um, a lot of people will tell you that the birthday readings are so 
crazy because they are tailored um for you the six of ones um that means a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a secrecy that a taurus have people are going to be recognized and uh yes um people are not recognizing the secrets um the a taurus at a whole whoever the taurus is uh, and hold a lot of secrets. Some of you is a Taurus, some of you is some sort of a bank financial institution um, that and hold some secrets, uh, um, secrets about money. And the truth is now going to be revealed. And whatever this bank or financial institution is, people are going to be recognizing um, and releasing you and, and helping you to resolve a, a situation because they have recognized that it could be a situation where someone could have uh, um, took money. But the Tauruses, whatever is happening, a lot of you are dealing with Tauruses. As a situation in this year that a whole lot of you are dealing with Tauruses, Tauruses boss, Tauruses parents, Tauruses friends, uh, Tauruses uh, um, uh, sisters and brother. And it is also about money, help, financial stone, hardship. And you're going to be overcoming what um, these hardship was. So the energy of the sun, the sun is 19 and 8. So that is infinity. Six of pentacles and five of uh, uh, wheels. So the six of wheels and five of the wheels. And wheels are always about uh, money. Okay, materialistic wealth, stability. And they're going to be recognized in some sort of a secrecy that a Taurus old and I see hardship is going to be coming up for a Taurus. So you have the energy of the sun, whatever is happening, any monetary thing, anything with money, um, you are going to be making a lot of money in this year. Okay. We're moving on to the people who were born on um, the 9th, the 9th of uh, July. Um, you're beginning the year with a tower moment. Okay. And whatever this tower moment is, uh, it's something is the, the emotions that you have been carrying is going to be released. A whole of you have carried a whole lot of emotions for a very long time. Um, it is going to be released because of some sort of information and data that is going to be coming out. It's going to be releasing you from some sort of an issue and problems that people had created in your world. So this is a really wonderful, um, positive year. And people think that the tower is bad. The tower is about releasing. It's about releasing you from problems, issues, things. Um, and this is releasing you from emotional uh, issues that you have been carrying because some sort of information is going to be coming to you and it is going to be alerting you that some sort of a problems that you have been dealing with is now over okay because um whatever people had created for you these problems and issue a lot of you have been carrying um emotion but also mental issues and these are going to be over together it's going to be you're going to be releasing it's as if a lot of you had a whole lot of worries never knowing what was going on never knowing what was transpiring it is coming to an end, okay? And this is good. You have the tower, which is 16 and one seven, a seven of cups, which is in the upright, so that is good. And uh, the eight of swords is about uh, um, things being revealed to you that you were not aware of, and this is good. All right, so people who are born under 10, secrecy. Secrecy is a year where your secrets are coming out. So if you were born on the 10th of July, uh, secrecy about uh, um, some sort of a project, secrecy about uh, some sort of a connection that you were in, secrecy about the project of a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So it's as if some of you had some sort of a secret project, secret network, secrecy that you were keeping um, and creating against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, um, it is going to be coming out. This is secrecy of a Taurus woman. Some of you could have been connected with a Taurus woman. If a Taurus woman is your mom, your aunt, a friend, uh, I see some sort of a secrecy of a, of a Taurus woman is going to be coming out. People are going to be recognizing what a Taurus man, a woman has done 
and how the storage woman has created a whole lot of problems and you cancers are going to be coming to an understanding of if this is your wife your mother um, a whole lot of secrets that this person has been keeping so the secret so uh, um it's coming up in different ways so um and it's as if they're going to be recognizing that a taurus is the one that tried to create some sort of a chaos for some of you and the taurus is because of jealousy so a lot of you are going to be recognizing that and is finding out so you're dealing with the energy of the moon and the moon energy is number 18 and um this seven of pentacles so a lot of you are dealing with Tauruses, so, um, with business and the workplace in this year. Um, so be aware. So number seven, um, 18 and one is nine, um, a nine, eight, uh, 18 and seven. Be aware of what is happening. And they're going to be recognizing what a Taurus woman have done. Okay. People who were born on the 11th is a very heavy year for you. This is a year of endurance. So if you were born on the 11th of July, it is a heavy, 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 heavy year for a lot of you. Um, and I see they are now recognizing what an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person have done. Truths are now being revealed over who this person is. They, they are in the reverse and the page of ones and the page of ones uh, is that people are going to be recognizing uh, um that an aquarian gemini or libra person now um you guys uh you cancers the 11th of july you're dealing with an aquarian gemini or libra woman and she has a, a he or she has a child for you he as uh, she she has a child for you and she is going to create chaos in your world and this is it. I always advise people, you got to find out who you are connected with, who you're co-creating with, who you're connected with. Because whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, this person is going to create a lot of chaos for you. And if it's a sense that, um, you know, you're married and you had a child with someone else, this woman is going to be creating a whole lot of chaos. This is a... Um, this woman is going to take you down for everything that you have in order to get and you're going to be finding out about some sort of a secrets about this woman. So if you are in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman, I see hardship, a whole lot of hardship and emotional hardship because this person's secret came out and they're going to be aware of what this woman has done. So I see a lot of your enduring a situation maybe it's your mother that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person or maybe it is just a friend or a co-worker whoever this person is is there some is some sort of a serious issues is going to be happening so um you guys have strength which is number eight and um number eight infinity so it's as if you're dealing with whoever this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is is someone who you're dealing with uh, um, from another past life, from a past life. And this woman has created a whole lot of chaos for you in this lifetime. And it is all coming out. So truths are going to be revealed in this year. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, how this year reading works is that if you were born July 5th to July 11th, you go through an accumulation of cycle is a solar year so everything that is in each and every um row okay horizontal vertical and horizontal it is going to be affecting you so let's say that you were born on uh five six seven eight you were born on the 8th of july you're going to be dealing with a successful timeline in the month of july august so as you leave august uh, going in september some sort of an emotional situation is going to be over then as you leave um august september secrecy is going to be coming out and the secrecy is about someone you're in a relationship with so 
you know, when you look at uh, um, these uh, layouts of the cards, you got to recognize where you start and where you're going to be ended because it happens in a row and everything because you're in a group of accumulation of a solar year that accumulate within a week you guys have to understand how to read um this and know what is going to be coming up for you guys in this month and this is why a lot of people who does birthday readings with me they know their readings is the birthday readings like an hour long because I tailored it on your personal event. And what you see is that you know exactly what is coming up in a month. And together with the weekly free readings and the month readings, you know with a full moon, everything. Because ladies and gentlemen, one reading cannot help a person. Trust me. And this is why if you notice, I've changed up my channel where I give the seasons, so you know what is happening in those seasons, those four weeks. Um, and then you get uh, the full moon, because everything changes at the full moon. And there, especially some of you that have, that was born on the 10th of July, you're going to be feeling um, what is good about you guys is that whoever you are that is born on the 10th of July, whatever project you decide to begin, it is going to be a success. Go for it okay so that is another good thing for people who are born on 10th of july in this year it is a really really positive year um to be honest um i see you clarity a whole lot of you are going to be clarity justice came up you are going to be overcoming um some sort of a problem that was created success for a lot of you. But when we look at the people who were born 9, 10, and 11, you are dealing with some issues. You're re really dealing with um, a heavy karma in this year, okay? Be aware of a Taurus woman. Okay, Be very aware of a Taurus and a Virgo woman. A Taurus or a Virgo woman or an Aquarian woman very aware of those people because they're going to be recognizing um some sort of a, a network connection that they had all right i gotta go i'm saying namaste until next time